now, Father Francis Stevenson. Hi there. Father Francis here. Yes, this is kind of an odd opening for my uh, weekly homily. But I am trying to make a point here. Sometimes, sometimes, life in the faith is a little bit strange. And it takes a while to get used to. So, what I'm trying to say is simply this. God's ways are not our ways. God reveals himself to us in his word, his living word, and in the form of covenant. Now, sometimes it doesn't make sense because, you know, we, we, we kind of live on one side of the mystery of faith that has been revealed to us through time. And unfortunately, we can get very complacent and we don't then appreciate what came before. Now, what I'm talking about in the 22nd Sunday here in Ordinary Time is um, something that we need to kind of take a few steps back and really begin to, you know, unwrap the history behind what we as Christians celebrate on a weekly basis. Namely, and that is the living word in our midst through word and sacrament. Remember, well, you don't remember because we weren't alive back then, but thousands of years ago, when people were uh, desiring to have a relationship with God, or in some cases, a God, any God, um, you know, because their world was very chaotic and very filled with fear. And so the thing that they desired was to commune or communicate with the deity, whether it's a god with a small g or, of course, uh, the god we know as, uh, as, as the, the Christian Judeo god. And uh, what, what, uh, what's interesting, what's fascinating, is that God did reveal himself to Moses. Now, we... You know, maybe you've seen the Ten Commandments and you say, hey, I know that. Or you've read it and, you know, or you've read the Bible on your own. Or you've gone to Bible studies or, you know, whatever. You know, you have, you, you know, you know, under, you understand that historical fact. But again, it's, it's sort of like if you, if you, if you weren't really from the very beginning uh, there, you know, it, it you, you know, you, we look at, we look at it with 2,000 years, you know, uh, post, uh, post event. So we kind of are a little bit kind of, yeah, we're a little complacent, you know, like, so ho-hum, God, so what, so God, what, God revealed himself. But it was a very important thing. I mean, here is God. God didn't have to reveal himself at all to anybody, you know. Uh, he could have remained uh, hidden, and he could have remained distant, and he could have remained capricious, and all these things that most people think that God is. And yet God did uh, have uh, an encounter with man you know, through Moses. But more importantly, you know, it's one thing to have for one person. One person says, you know, I, hey, I saw God, you know. And even if thousands of people believe the guy's testimony, you know, hey, you look at him, his face has changed, uh, he's got these huge uh, tablets with these interesting words on them. Okay, something went on up on that mountain. We don't know exactly what, but something went up there on the mountain. And so, but then, how does God communicate himself to everybody else? And this is the thing I think I know that I overlook, and I think that a lot of people overlook. How does he communicate himself? He does that through the commandments, or the law of Moses. Now, a lot of times people just don't appreciate that. They don't see that as a real value. Now, I can tell you that, you know, even though I'm an oldster, you know, and I'm an old guy. <laughs> How's it going out there, Sonny? <laughs> Thank you for turning, tuning in to my, my homies here today. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't do that because I'm pretty close to that anyway. So that's almost more reality. That's almost becoming more the, the, the fact instead of a, a fiction. But uh, as I learn uh, the finer details, and again, I have a long ways to go. Probably never will get there of film and video editing and all these wonderful little concepts that um, uh, help me to communicate uh, my ideas and myself to, to you on YouTube. 
Uh, I appreciate the, if you will, the, 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 uh, the instruction, the instructional videos uh, that I receive from lots of different people that I, I depend upon. And, you know, uh, they have wonderful tutorials, and uh, they really help an, an awful lot with my understanding. But if I was not open, you know, if I said, I don't want to read that manual, I don't want to listen to this video, I'm just going to make it up as I go along, chances are I'm going to be so frustrated, I'm going to be so angry, and I'm just not even going to try anymore because I don't understand. See, God gave us an insight into who he is by giving us the covenant, by giving us the commandments, by giving us the law. And what I'm trying to say through all that is the law is a positive. It's a good. A lot of people kind of, there are some Christians who say, I'm no longer under the law, brother. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, I'm under grace. Well, you know, remember that God gave us the law. You know, the law is not a bad thing. I'm not saying that we're under the law, but I am saying that God reveals himself through the law. He also has revealed himself through the fulfillment of the law in his son, Jesus. He also reveals himself through the teachings of the Holy Catholic Church. See, some people today think that the teachings that they find in the Catholic Church are man-made traditions. And they say, ah, Jesus condemned that right here. See, in Mark's Gospel, he says, ah, you know, you follow the traditions of men. No, we don't follow traditions of men. We follow traditions of our Lord. And we follow traditions of the apostles. We follow apostolic tradition, not just mere human traditions. You know, like, okay, every Tuesday uh, on the quarter moon, we're going to, you know, sacrifice a black cat. No, we don't do those kinds of things. And the things that we follow, the ordinances, the, coven the covenants that we follow in the new covenant, are established by Christ and his apostles. So they're not meaningless. They're not something we can just throw off and say, well, that's, those are man-made traditions. There are a lot of people today that believe that, Catholics to, to be included, I'm afraid. And so, but you have to go back and you have to understand the fact that this God loved us so much that he wanted to communicate his set of order for us. You know, what does God do in the beginning of creation? He takes chaos and he brings, uh, he brings order. And that's what his law does. That's what his commandments do. Uh, and that's why we need to see them as good and not negative. Um, and a lot of times there are even Christians who think, well, I don't have to follow the commandments anymore because Jesus fulfilled them, and so therefore I don't have to do it. Wrong. Eh. Okay, so we have to again, though, see it as a positive. And why is it a positive? Because this is how God reveals himself to us. If I want to know anything about God, all I need to do is look to, first of all, Christ, but also to the commandments because he perfectly fulfilled those commandments. He was the perfect fulfillment of the commandments. So again, if we want to get an insight into how God is, who God is, we don't have to look any further than Christ and the commandments. So again, I think it's important for us to do that because sometimes when people, you know, especially when it comes to some of the teachings of the Catholic Church, a lot of people just, they don't see the value and they don't want to see the value. I think that's the problem with a lot of people today is they've got either brainwashed by secular society or they have some personal problems that they, you know, are, are dealing with, and they just kind of shut down. They're like, I am not going to talk about this. I am not going to be open to this. And they remain in a rut. So today, uh, I would ask you to do a little bit of a, a tr uh, time travel back and just think about how, the, how fascinating and how wonderful and how important that would be that a god doesn't just choose to become, you know, this angry thing in the sky with bolts of lightning and big storm clouds. But he's a God who reasons with us, and he gives us order through his covenant and through his law. May God bless you today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.